All right. So, gentlemen, let's continue from here. So we've got three sentences, right? We've got simple, compound, complex. How do we join compound sentences? Fanboys. For and nor, but, or, yet, and so. Okay? Now, why is the, the F and the N, the for and the nor, why are they black? Anybody have an idea? Abdul Majid. I think we can uh, use it as a preposition. We can use it as a preposition, but we generally, I mean, usually don't use these as a connector in the TOEFL. We don't use them as a connector in the TOEFL. Okay? All right. Now, the next one, I think we can skip number three because number three, complex. This is a, another skill. This is skill seven, adverb clauses. Uh, skill eight, adverb clauses. Okay. Uh, skill nine and 10 are noun clauses. And then 11 and 12 are adjective clauses. But today, what are we doing? We're just doing compound sentences. Do you understand? Skill six is only compound sentences, okay? So let's take a look at your books, your green TOEFLs, guys, okay? So uh, everybody hands up, let's go. Hands up in the air like you just don't care. All right. Jaffer, yes. can you begin? Okay. Uh, skill six, use coordinate connector correctly. Okay. Now you see I put a square for the C and another for the C, CC. So when I use this in the formula, I just put a CC, okay? Okay. Now, what, what are coordinate connectors? What are they? I just showed you, I just showed you, yeah, I just showed you right here, right here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Fanboys, okay? Fanboys, okay? So they, these are fanboys, coordinate connectors. It's just a, it's just a, a, a big word for the same thing, okay? It's just a big word, it means the same thing. Fanboys, coordinate connectors, okay? Now, what kind of sentences do we have here, Mohammed? What kind of sentences do we have in skill six? Simple? Com compound sentence. Oh, okay. What is a compound? What is a compound? So, or more uh, independent. Independent no, clauses. That means like it's joining normal. your mother and father, right? Two independent people. Your mother, independent. Your father, independent. Join them. Okay? We join them with fanboys. Okay? So, uh, compound sentence. Can you read this, Muhammad? Two. Okay, two. Uh... Independence closed. Okay. Connected. By fanboys. Okay. What's another meaning for independent clause? Well, not just two, but maybe more. Maybe three, maybe four. But what's another word for independent? Can, can you see that? Independent clause. Main clause, the same thing, okay? All right. So tell Al Nazi. Yeah, when, when you, you have... have two clauses in English sentence, you must connect uh, the two clauses uh, correctly. Well, right. One way to connect uh, two clauses is to use fanboys and but or so uh, or yet. How many connectors? Uh, uh, five. Five. This skill has five connectors. Just limited connectors in this skill, okay? Faras, can you read? 
You're muted. You're muted. Faraz, unmute. Abdul Majid. You, you read the next one. Come on, Faraz, read it. Sham is singing and uh, Paul is dancing. Okay, Abdul Majid, next one. Sham is tall, but Paul is short. Hamza, next one. Uh, Tom uh, must write uh, the letter or uh, Paul will do, will do it. Very good. Jafar, next one. Tom told a joke, so Paul low. Mohammed, next one. Tom stay up, uh, yet he is not going to sleep. All right, look at all of these examples. We have on the left, independent. On the right, also independent. Two independent clauses, okay? Two. Main clause, main clause. What's in the middle? Connected. Hello? Connected. But also a comma. We have a comma. Comma and a connector. Comma in all of these examples. Comma and a connector. You understand? In all of them. Comma and a connector. Now, what does it say over here, Khalid? Join independent, uh, dependent clauses with fanboy. Fanboys. What's the first one? For and. For. F is four. four. Okay. Sultan, what's the next one? Uh, A and. A and. for and. Good. A for and. What does it mean, by the way, if I say and? With uh, plus, two. plus, uh, plus, plus yeah. or addition. Addition, yeah. You know addition, right? For us, what's the next one? N, uh, nor. Okay, N means, N is for nor. But I, you see, I put a line. Why did I put a line here in here? We, we don't we don't use it we don't use it in TOEFL really okay all right next one Abdul Majid what do you think after the N but yeah B, but. B for but when do we use this uh, contrast. contrast contrast yeah opposite right if you show the opposite okay uh, Hamza how about the next one uh or, when do I use or? When do I use or? Anybody? Does anybody know uh, this word? Muhammad Darcy. knows this word. Good. What is, when do I use or, uh, Muhammad? When we use this for compare, to into something. No, or it's not for comparing. Uh, choices. Choices. There yeah. you go. Apple or banana. Choices. Okay. What's the next one, uh, Jaffer? Yet. Yeah. What does that mean, yet? Does anybody know this? Until now. Well, the word yet has two meanings, and that is the other one. When it's a, if it's a connector, it has a different meaning. Like what? Somebody in my class should know. Yes, no. Jopper, you're correct. It's the same as but. So it means the opposite. Okay. What about the S, Muhammad? So. Bingo. When do I use it? When do I use this word? So. Like because. Result. Result, yeah. Reason and result, right? right. Reason and result. Okay. Now, I want to know the difference between but. There is a small difference. There's a small difference between but yet. A small difference. They're both for opposites, but we they, we use we don't use them exactly the same. Anybody? Can anybody anybody from my class can anybody remember the difference? Yes. Khaled, tell us. Uh, but with the fact. Exactly. 
and yet and yet uh, uh, object fact surprise surprise if you're surprised about something right when you're surprised then we use it to show your surprise and so is also always always for a fact okay all right sultan how do we can you read this here yeah yeah in each, in each, in each of examples there are two clauses that yeah. are correctly going uh join uh with the uh, with a coordinator uh, conjunction and but or so or yet and uh, comma yeah this means the same thing as fanboys okay coordinate okay. conjunction coordinate connector fanboys all right everybody choose an answer now are you ready quickly find your answer alpha beta charlie delta you have you have five more seconds Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. Seven people think it's beta. One person said Charlie. Who thinks it's Charlie? Who said Charlie? Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Ah, oh, Hassan. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why do you think it's Charlie? The, the letter, the lump went out. I think it's reason. It's, it's reason. Is this a connector? Later. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, so be, be. Yeah, but yeah, Charlie is not a connector, gentlemen. It is not a connector. So Charlie is wrong. What about Delta, guys? It's also not a connector. Also, how about Alpha? Also. Not a connector. The only answer, the only, and it's one of the fanboys, right? One of the fanboys, okay? So the answer is beta. Now, where is the, let's put, let's put a subject and verb for each one of these. Where do I put the S? A power. No power, but failure. Okay. How about the verb? Occurred. There you Good. go. Occurred. Okay. And then what do we have here? The lambs. Coordinate connector or one of the fanboys. Where's the next subject? The lambs. And the next verb. Went out. Went out. There you go. Went out. Okay. All right. Take a look at the gray box. Okay. What do you see in the gray box there, Hamza? Uh, uh, coordinate uh, connectors. How many do you see? One, two, three, four, five. Five connectors. And, but, or, so, and, yeah. Okay. Look at the formula. Uh, Mohammed, what's the formula? Uh, first subject. Uh, okay. And then? She, she, uh, in verb. Comma. Subject, verb, and then comma. Don't forget the comma. And That's, then? Uh, nectar. Fanboys, fanboys, one of the fanboys. Yeah. And then what? And, uh, second verb, second verb. There Subject. you go. There you go. Okay. How do we do exercise six, uh, Sultan? Uh, use uh, underline the subject once, verb twice, circle the connectors, indicate if sentence is correct or incorrect. Yeah. Can you explain for us? Can you explain number one? Okay. Don't read it. Just explain uh, the the lines and circles. Okay. Software uh, first uh, subject. Yeah. Should be used uh, first uh, verb. Good. And there is a comma, then and yes, and, and connector. Okay, and then and, uh, this computer uh, second uh, subject and, and is then? and verb. There you go. Okay. Now, what about number two, Jaffer? Jaffer, yes. can you explain number two? Yes, rain clothes subject uh, can be seen where, but okay. Uh, Connectors. Oh, 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 don't forget. Oh, comma. There's a comma. comma. 
And then? What connector has fill-in verb? Uh -huh. uh, the subject is missing. Subject is missing. Uh, anybody, can anyone think of the subject I should put? Anybody think of a subject I can put here? Singular subject? No. But one. what's the, uh, the best subject to add here? No. Look at the, think about the sentence, you guys. Think about the sentence. Think about the meaning. What is the meaning of the words? The rain clouds can be seen in the distance. No rain. The rain clouds can be seen. No. But yeah. no rain. Rain has fallen. No rain has fallen. Okay? You got it? Yes. Okay. Try this exercise, gentlemen. Are you ready? Yes. Start now. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me find the right. What do we put for number one, everybody? What should you put for number one? Correct. Correct. And number two? Correct. All right, start. Hurry up, quickly. <clears throat> One minute left, you guys. Just one minute. Thirty seconds, gentlemen. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, finished. Come on, finish. Finish the poll now, guys. Time is up. You're taking too much time. This is a this is an easy skill. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be more than three minutes. I'm gonna stop. Somebody didn't answer. Okay. We've got six people, but somebody didn't answer. Okay. Let's look at number one. All right, who said it's incorrect? Number one, 
Maybe can maybe someone can explain why is this incorrect? The book says that it's correct, but somebody thinks it is incorrect. No, you don't want to change your answer? All right. How about number two? Ah, everybody said correct, incorrect. Okay. Number three. Oh, incorrect. Oh, let's see. Bingo. You got it. Number four. Uh-oh. We have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Uh, number four. Two people said it's correct. Three said is incorrect. The answer, incorrect, gentlemen. How about number five? Everyone agrees? It is correct. Number six, everybody said incorrect. Excellent. Seven, everyone agrees on seven. Good. Eight, everybody agrees on number eight. Perfect. Nine, everybody agrees? Excellent. And the last one, number 10, everybody thinks it's incorrect. Perfect. All right. So let's, Joffer, why don't you tell me, uh, give me the subjects and verbs in number three. Start with the first subject. Uh, the first subject is uh, they. All right. They. Uh, Good. They and the verb? Are trying. Okay. Are trying. And then? Uh, uh, the subject, second subject, it. All right. We have a second subject, it. Okay. Uh, uh, second verb uh, has been. Mm. Excellent. Which uh, which which tense is that, by the way? Do you know the tense? Uh, the present uh, perfect. Yeah, it is the present perfect. Now, why is the sentence incorrect? There is uh, no connector. Right. Which connector can I put in this? Any idea? Anybody know? But uh, they are trying to sell their house. So, so but. yeah, so is the best choice. Okay. So, and where should I put it? After the comma. After the comma. I'll do that after we do the other sentences. Okay. So, uh, how about the next one, Sultan? Number four. Uh, number Tell four. The first, first subject. First subject is the quality. 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 Okay. And the verb? Uh, was. Okay. Was. Okay. And then the second subject? I. Okay. I. And the second verb is uh, changed. Good. Second verb is changed. Okay. All right. And why is this sentence incorrect? Uh, because the uh, uh, batteries. It's what? Because the arrangement for the sentence, it's begin from the uh, beginning with the connectors. The connectors Wrong uh, formula, right? Right. Wrong formula. What What should I do then? How can I fix it? Uh, remove so in the beginning and put it after uh, the comma. Good. So I'll do that after we finish these other sense uh, of the other uh, sentences. Okay. Uh, Faraz, how about number five? Subject? Lifeguard, uh, first subject. All right. Verb? Uh, first verb. Will warn. Yeah. Okay. And then, next? Yeah. May require. Do you have a connector? Yeah, or. Ah, okay. Or, here's your connector. And then the subject, you said? Subject, and second, uh, she, second subject, she, and the second verb? May, may require, uh, require. There you go, may require. So this follows the formula, right, gentlemen? So no problem yeah. there. Number six, Abdul Majid, you want to explain it? Give me the what? subject, first subject. You. Right. And the first verb? Should have finished. Bingo. Hey, do you know that, what does it mean? You're in zero four, right? Should yes. have finished. Um, 
This is in unit, this is in unit, unit 10. I think so. Uh, what does it mean? It's, it's it was, it was on your test too. You should yeah. have finished. Yes. Did you finish the work yesterday? No. You did not finish it. You should have finished, right? Okay. And then connector? I uh, come with yet. Okay. Yet. You see, the, what does it mean here, Abdulaji? Yet? Uh, is it like a but with the surprise? Yes, exactly. It means but with surprise. But? And then? Where's the second subject? Uh, there's no uh, second subject. Ah, the second subject. Where's the second verb? Is not. Yeah, it's a negative, right? Negative verb is not. Okay. Um, uh oh, I'm missing my my second line. I'll, I'll I'll fix it later. But there should be a second line here, okay? Yeah, because this is. This is your verb, all right? So how do I fix this example then? How do I fix it? What do we need? What's missing, guys? Another subject to think of. It. Yeah, which, yes, yes, it. Where can I put it? Where can yeah. I add it? it? It is not close. I can put it, yeah, but where do I put it? Where do I put the it? After the connector. Yes, I want to put it here after the before. connector. Yeah, before the verb. Okay. So, uh, Jaffer, you want to explain yes. number seven? Okay. Subject? Uh, the phone. Okay. Uh, and then? Uh, rang. Yeah. Rang is what? Then. Okay. Uh, All right, and then? So, connector. Connector, so, all right. The reception, the receptionist uh, subject. Good, subject. Uh, and then? Was uh, not able. Of, uh, able is uh, an adjective, okay? So okay. was not is the verb, okay? There's your verb. Good. All right, and the sentence is correct. Sultan, you want to explain number eight? Yeah, uh, I mentioned uh, what is the subject. So the subject is the wallet, the missing yeah. wallet. Okay. Here's uh, the subject. Was found as uh, a verb. Yeah. Look at the tense. What, what is this tense? Uh, passive, past passive. Past simple passive. Good. And uh, then? But is connector. Yep. Yeah. Uh, with connector. comma. Uh, the cash is another subject, and the credit is also another subject. Yeah, well, it's not another subject, it's a compound. Compound, compound subject. subject. Yeah. Okay. And then? Uh, had been removed uh, is a uh, uh, verb. That's right. Is this active? No, it's passive. Uh, yeah. Past perfect passive. Past perfect passive. Excellent. You, you know you know your tenses. Good job. So uh, let's do number nine, Faraz. Okay. Uh, you were first subject. Okay. And then? Uh, can drive uh, first step. That's right. First verb. And then? And you uh, second the subject. Uh, okay. Second subject, you, okay. And can get uh, second verb. Can get, all right, second verb. Now, why is there, uh, why is this incorrect, this sentence? What's the problem? No formula. Yeah, it's the, it's the in, incorrect formula. So what should I do? Remove or and put it before you. Exactly. Should I use or? Uh, you can drive your car for another 2,000 miles or, you know what, you're right. This is, uh, oh, oops, I didn't, I showed you the wrong one. There you go, or, okay. 
All right, Abdul Majid, you got it? You got the last one? Yes. Subject? The chemist. Yeah, and then? The verb, the verb? was awarded. Was awarded. Is this active? No, it's passive. Good. And then? Um, the second subject is he, and the second verb is uh, flu. All right. He <laughs> and the flu. And then what? It doesn't have the connector. Uh-huh. What connector should I use? I think, it's, I think we should use uh, and. The chemist was awarded the Nobel Prize, and he flew to Europe to accept it. Um, okay, this connector uh, is all right. I think there's a better one. Uh, but? So, but? So, 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 I think, so, I think we have a reason and result, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so the best choice right there. So, where do I where do I put it though? After the comma. Okay, put it after the comma. So I'm going to add it here. So, after the comma. What about this X for us? Where should I put the X? Uh, in number nine, in number nine, we're going backwards now. Oh, number nine, oh, for you. or and then where do I put the where do I put this or before you? That's right, before you. Okay, how about number six, Sultan? And uh, number six, uh, we should uh, put the uh, we should where put, put the uh, before, before yet, uh, for uh, above yet. Before? Above. Above? Uh, no, no, uh, after that. After, okay, I'm gonna put it after, okay. Subject, right? It yeah. is not close to being finished. Okay, Jaffer, how about yeah. number four? Okay. Uh, X? X says so. All right, um, and then how do I fix it? Uh, put uh, so uh, after comma. Exactly, after the comma. You got it. And then the last one. Abdul Majid, you want to do it? Number three? Uh, just add the uh, connector. Where? Put it, put it after the comma. Bingo. Right after the comma. Okay. Is everything okay now? Yes. There's one small problem. We don't have another line. <laughs> exactly. We need a second line. Where where do where should I put it? It's not, it's not number six. Number six. Yeah, number six is not because it's a verb, right, gentlemen? Let's see. There we go. Perfect. The end, gentlemen. That's all, guys. Thank you, Mr. Rich. Thank you, Mr. Rich. You're welcome. Goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.